Let's talk about Victor Salva. Uh, sure. Writer and director of such movies as Jeepers Creepers 1, 2, 3. Uh, I think he made Powder. Yep, he did Powder. That's like his second big film, I think. Yeah, after, after Clown House. So. Um, he, like we said, he started out making short films uh, in, in like high school. Where you know, he was, um, he he got like special treatment in school. This guy has had special treatment his entire life because he was like, he couldn't focus in school, but he was very very creative. So, so he so his ADHD, te- <laughs> maybe I don't know, but his his teacher was like, if you just write another story every day, every week and and read it to the class, we won't fail you. Whatever. But this is like in elementary school. Sure. So. Um, like English class, possibly. Yeah, and from that was born then his his uh, interest in making movies. Also, he liked to watch movies because he, sure he grew up in he grew up in an abusive uh, uh, family. His his yeah. uh, f- stepfather stepfather I think, was yeah. often drunk and physically abusive. Is that here? Oh, okay. Oh, you have okay. I pulled up his trivia. Ah, okay, okay. I got all this from uh, I watched some videos and interviews. Um. But yeah, so, so so he started making um, short films that were shown in in the school cafeteria, and uh, eventually, you know, he tried he tried his hand at making a bigger one. Then there's something in the basement that cost some yeah. money, um, and that was then shown in festivals, and that's how he got his chance to make a, a, a feature film. Um, what <laughs> I don't know if you read that, but the the what was weird was or it just adds to the weirdness. Is that the job he worked to make money for there's something in the basement was that he worked at a daycare center. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Which well, we, they don't they don't mention if he had he, 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 like, from what I from what I've read and from what I seen and heard, his, his first incident, so to speak, is with Jonathan what was his name? J- Nathan Winters Byers something. Yeah. What was the kid's uh, name? Um, good question. Uh, I did the mistake of opening on Nathan Forrest Winters. Nathan Forrest Winters, yeah. Yeah. That. Yes, he, he, according to the trivia on IMDb, he confessed to five felony counts. Yeah. With that 12 year old boy. Yeah. So and he also f- videotaped it. Yes. But I mean, if he confessed to that one, Listen, I don't think he. No. That's, hide the other ones. That's also if what, there were other ones. That's also something I I I I listened to an interview by Nathan Forrest Winters. He made a few a few years ago. There were eleven accounts of uh, yeah va- various transgressions. Yeah. Um. But and here's the worst. No, not not the worst part, but just adds a shit cherry on top of the Sunday. Um. Because. Uh, Francis Ford Coppola kind of had him under his wing. It's like this is a, this is a, a future like like a, a, a master director or whatever, which is kind of yeah. weird. Because if you look at the movies he made, they never made like master. None of them movies. are yeah. good. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know sense. what Coppola saw in him. Well, we can discuss that too. Um, uh, Coppola, he was friends with Victor Selva was friends with Coppola, so Coppola helped him by hiring like top lawyers to defend him so what was first 11 accounts of pedophilia and, and child abuse and whatever um he he which he which he admitted to when he was arrested yeah. was then uh he retracted everything um uh, for uh, on uh, his lawyers told him to retract everything you, you know say you just said it because you were you know being forced whatever you 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 didn't do anything wrong so then he retracted all 11 like confessions and then they managed to do uh, to like get it to only the five least severe um uh crimes were the ones he confessed to because they were the ones on tape I guess then I guess I don't know cuz you can't <laughs> I mean they found the tapes obviously Yeah yeah I mean I mean he was he was he was convicted Yeah of 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 ch- child molestation and pedophilia yes. and like child pornography stuff. Um, Felony counts of sexual relations with the twelve. Sexual relations, yeah, exactly. That's how they phrase uh, it here. 
and and for those five counts of 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 yeah this he got three years that was his sentence three years in three prison. years it's three, just one year here <laughs> one, yeah well that's the thing he got the 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 verdict was three years in prison he served 15 months and then he got out and immediately started working on his next movie on what good behavior <sighs> I don't know. So that's the thing. You know that whenever a person who's done anything to which children end up in, in prison, they're not usually well treated by... Yeah, I don't know how he survived. Neither the inmates nor the uh, the uh, guards. Because, yeah, no, yeah, exactly. That they, they, The chomos, that those are the first to get raped or killed in, yeah. in prison. Because even, even criminals, even criminals, you know, murderers and robbers knows you do not mess with children. Exactly. I think we've said that before. Yeah, 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 we've said that. Um, <laughs> there's, there's a... There's a I'm, I'm laughing to, to hide my, my pain. Um, <laughs> there is there is the uh, somewhat famous case of, um, like... This guy, I think he was doing like ten years for something, robbery or, or homicide or something. Um, and he got a new he got a new um, cellmate a few years into his uh, his um, uh, sentence, who was yeah he was convicted of of uh, molestation. Yeah. And he would, what you do when you get a new cellmate? Oh, what are you in for? And he was he like usually you come out like oh I don't know uh, something you don't want to say because then you're gonna beat yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, at least beat up. Uh, but this guy was like proud of it, mm. going like, "Yeah, oh yeah, I did a bit, 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 you know." Um, Touch children. Yeah, and he kept, t- and the guy was like, "Okay, I don't want to hear anymore." He's like, "Whatever, I, you know, I'll have to live with you. That's enough. Stop talking about it." Yeah. So he he was nice that way, <laughs> but then the guy yeah. was like, "No," he kept talking about it and giving details for like hours. This was the first huh. day they were in the same cell. Yeah, he was like proud of it. So the guy was like, you know what, motherfucker? And just stabbed him to death. Thank you. Just stabbed him like 20 <laughs> times in the face. It's like, oh, thank God he shot up. And like, and, I'd, I'd happily prolong my uh, stay in prison. Yeah, yeah, he didn't give a fuck. He get just rid wa- one of, the, of he, one of those people. He wanted that person dead. And they're like, yeah, yeah okay. Um, and there is video, there's footage from his, uh, then, um, his hearing, because he had to go in front of the judge Sure, because that's another murder. He's still, still committed a crime, even though he's in prison. And he just he just plainly explains like yeah like he was talking about molesting children and I just I that's not in my book basically and I just stabbed him to death and everyone's yeah. like and the whole courtroom was like yeah okay yeah I mean, <laughs> I mean you're still gonna have we're gonna prolong your sentence but okay but fair good job <laughs> fair like, yeah okay can't blame you yeah I don't remember the guy's name but you, you can look it up and this it's all over YouTube um but either way. It's 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 weird that it's it's um b- baffling that he was able to get out after just over a year, uh, yeah, and just immediately start working. How he wasn't just blacklisted. But that's the thing with Hollywood. Yeah, I know, and we we usually don't talk about it because I always I always feel that it's kind of like conspiracy theory. You know the the whole. I mean, obvi- obviously, <clears throat> obviously, there's like you know. There's, There's truth pe- behind it. Just truth behind it. Pedophiles. Pedophiles are everywhere, unfortunately. Yes. Um, but that I mean all of I mean all of the uh, the uh, accusations that go around in in Hollywood, the the Me Too movement, and all that stuff. Yeah. Like, there's obviously people who 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 have been victimized or have oh, yeah. been victims to to this kind of abuse in the in the industry. There's also, unfortunately, people who utilize the opportunity to just get fame or money, which sucks because. Fuck you. Yeah. Don't use others' pain to gain money or fame. Um, but it's so weird then to, to think about how how forgiving some people are that you think might not be. Yeah. For example, Victor Salva has been cited to... Um, uh, he says that Stephen, Stephen King is his biggest influence and is a good friend. Why would Stephen King be good friends with a child molester? Yeah, that sounds weird. That sounds that yeah. sounds weird. <laughs> um, and and I it, love that the trivia below that is that he is said to resemble John Wayne Gacy. Uh, which is just like, oh what? yeah, John Wayne Gacy. Yeah, I thought, I was like, <coughs> I thought he meant John Wayne. I was, he doesn't look like John Wayne, but yeah, John no. Wayne Gacy. Yeah, yeah, Gacy. Yes. 
Like, no, oh, yeah. so you look like a murderer as well. Cool. Oh, great. Yeah. Once again, yeah. Uh, well, not child molester, but, you know. Um, uh, terrible, a, a terrible rape, person. Rapist, torture, murderer. Yeah. Yeah. Um. No, but but what what is what is weird is that he was immediately welcomed in, and the fact that eh, fucking it, it hurts so much to say that Francis Ford Coppola defended him, yeah, and even after after the initial like bust and then his confession to these eleven accounts of of crimes, um, the work on the movie kept going because they had to do some dubbing, yeah. and that was being done in Francis Ford Coppola's house, his like home studio, and now this is this is. And I, and I don't want to, I don't want to like victim blame or anything, but this is just what uh, Nathan Win Byer, Forrest Winter, what Nathan was it? Forrest Winters yes. said. It's just what he said. We don't have any sure, other accounts of it. One side of the story. One side of the story. Everyone who was involved, like behind the scenes during the during the redubbing of the movie, um, like like blackballed him and didn't want to talk to him because oh, you put our director in jail, basically. Yeah, that's um, and, also and Francis usually. Ford Coppola literally said like what 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 you did was was despicable you'll never work in this industry again it's like motherfucker you're supposed so, your so called friend molested this child from the age of like what is it 12, nine I up think. until 12 yeah he started grooming him way oh, earlier that's though true. before they even made the there's something in the basement short film cuz he he was his his mom I had a friend who worked at the uh, daycare center or something like that. That's that's how they got connected. Oh, yeah. So he was grooming him for years and years and years. And and, and the only reason he got caught was because he got so yeah, he got so so confident um about about the whole thing during the filming because that kind of when it culminated. Um so that they, which is also weird because we said the production some some of the production team, the cast and crew or crew were like were like mad at this little this little child this victim, but it was also people behind the scenes who pointed out to Nathan Forrest Winter's mom that like Victor and Nathan's thing going on they were like friends they were friends yeah you sure know, okay weird but okay you, you, uh, it happens you can be obviously when you child. work together yeah yeah but like. There's more going on. You need to talk to your son about this. So yeah. I guess some people were 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 worried, and sure. some people weren't. I don't. I, it's, but they uh, probably were afraid to say it out loud because they they knew that he would destroy their uh, opportunities within the industry. Then, <sighs> yeah. But at, at at some point, at some point, you got you got you got to question yourself. Like, what is more important here? Protecting my career. Which yeah, I haven't done anything or wrong. Or this child and a bunch uh, yeah, or, uh, exactly, of pro- possible future children. Exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah, that, that's uh, the. But then, then, and then you have to like start questioning them. Like, it, it, is there like a child sex ring within Hollywood where like the the big powerful people upstairs, whatever you call it, um, <laughs> kind of protect each other, and that that's how. How people are actually afraid of, of 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 pointing stuff like this out because they might lose their jobs or worse, I suppose. You know what? Like, Considering how- have you have you heard or read anything about the Diddy case? Yes. Considering that, that also seems to have a lot of evidence now. Yeah. I haven't read up on all of it, but I've I've, I've seen a few videos about it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's definitely people in the industry who can just snap their fingers and make whatever they want disappear. Unfortunately. Because he's been doing that for years. And the worst part is that some of the victims are victims because they think that that's going to help their career. Yeah. Well, that I know. The casting couch thing. Yeah. Basically. Unfortunately. And it's, it's terrible to think that people would Stoop that low to to for fame and fortune. Like, come on, isn't happiness more important? Yeah, peace of mind. Exactly. Just feeling like, no, I did the Good right with thing. With yourself, I protected I've a done, child. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've done the right thing, not only towards myself but towards everyone else that I can. Yeah. 
So I'll be, I'll, I'll become a car salesman instead, but I did the right thing, god damn it. Exactly. As long as you don't get killed, which you probably won't. No. I don't think they kill people for it. They just blacklist you. Yeah. And I, and I mean, obviously... I mean, that depends, though, because apparently, according to... Like, it's it's connected to the Diddy case. Uh, Beyonce has people killed if, she, if they don't think, thank her for, like, when they win awards instead of her. Well... <laughs> That's a Do we have any vague, proof of that? No, there's no proof. <laughs> that, that, that's vague accusations and and weird. Uh, see, and that's 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 why I've never <laughs> taken most of this kind of stuff seriously, because yeah. like it's those ridiculous like stories, uh, or the whole thing. And where, it all it all, all, like, all of them are doing culminates the, in the Illuminati. The Illuminati sign. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, whatever. But then you, but then and I I knew of this before. I actually found out about this a few years ago. Um, Beyonce thing? No, 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 no. Victor Salva. <laughs> oh. When me and uh, me and a friend were doing, when I did the Please on live stream show, we were going through the Jeepers Creepers movies around the time the third one came out, and I was watching the first two, and then I started reading up on the third one, and that's when I found out about Victor Salva. And I was like, oh no! Yeah. And that that whole series of episodes took a weird turn. Um, but I didn't I didn't read too much into it. More than that. Uh, so reading about it now, then it's like okay, I kind of see where people are going with all these conspiracy theories, even though some of them still sound a little out there, a little too far fetched, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think Beyonce has artists killed because they're a threat to her who, who, career. Who were who? Who supposedly did she have killed? Or is there any like names? Uh, Alaya was one. Um, uh, she's uh, she was. Rapper, singer, I don't remember. Aliyah, yeah, yeah. Aliyah, Aliyah, yeah. yeah. Um, one of JC's ex girlfriends who was also a singer. <laughs> I don't remember the name of her. Okay. You know that song that goes, uh, She knows, she knows, I know, she knows. You know that? No, I don't know that one. Uh, I don't remember who did it. But apparently, that song calls out a few people that were killed. <laughs> And that's why the 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 chorus goes. She knows, because you know her last name is Knowles. Oh, Jesus! And she knows what she's done. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Michael Jackson apparently. Well, he had some stuff going on, yeah. Yeah, but apparently he did something wrong as well, and they went. They decided that no, he needs to go, so they killed him. Yeah. Which, I don't know. What, what, was uh, it? Was it ever? J. Cole, by the way, was the artist that did the She Knows song. Oh, okay. I know the artist, but I don't know the song. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, but, but the Michael Jackson thing. Yes. Was he... I mean, he died. Sure. But was there ever, other than witness testimonies, was there ever definitive proof that he did anything? I'm just wondering. I, I don't remember. Don't I don't know. think so. That's the part. I don't think part. he even was convicted. No. That's the weird part. Because um, and I remember, he, I remember. Like, he, I'm, I've seen clips. I, I saw the documentary when it came out a few years ago. I saw the first part. I think. Yeah. I had nothing better to do, so I did watch it. Yeah. Um, and I mean, he admits to like, yes, I like children, and yes, uh, there were children sleeping in my bed, but they slept. Like yeah. there was nothing, no funny business. I exactly. love children. That's it. That's just weird. It's not criminal. Exactly. Yeah. And he kind of admitted to being like, yeah, I know it's kind of weird, <laughs> but I didn't do anything wrong, technically. Yeah. And he never, I don't think he ever like commented on the actual accusation. You just went, I love children. That's it. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm not going to talk about it because I don't want to, I don't want to put that in the world. Yeah. And other than them, their testimonies, which were they, like three boys, I think, at the time, they were boys at least. Yeah. The ones that are being interviewed. Yeah. There's three, yeah. I think. Um, other than that, I don't think there there's actually any like evidence or or proper testimony. Maybe one of the um, staff might have talked about it. I don't remember. Yeah, because I remember a few. He died in two thousand and nine, I think. Um, so, yeah. And I remember there was if there was like a year or two after that, there was this video. It was like a YouTube uh, like entertainment news channel. That had yeah. a, a a segment where they talked, where like police have discovered hidden rooms in Neverland Ranch with thousands of hours of uh, like child pornographic materials and pictures and stuff, and it felt okay. like it felt like, and I never heard that 
from anyone else. And it was just that video. It never it didn't feel like it was picked up anywhere. I don't know if I dreamt that or something. Because, like, this is the biggest, like, uh, expose in, 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 like, modern, like, <clears throat> pop history. Yeah. But then nobody talked about that? No, and I think it's because, like, all the, 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 uh, headlines are just allegations, accusations. Yeah, but There's they said no that they found convictions. Things. Oh. I don't think that's true, though. I don't think they actually found anything. Why did they say that, then? Because they wanted the clicks or something. I don't know. So weird. Anyway. We're kind of... Uh... Kind well, of no, I mean, this is... Not really. This is, yeah. Same, same, uh, same I suppose topic. I was about to, like, segue into another artist that died recently, but that has, that has absolutely nothing to do with it, except for the fact that he died who, mysteriously. Who? Uh, Liam Payne from One Direction. What? Yeah, a few. I think it's a week ago now or something. He fell off a balcony. Oh, oh. In oh, mysteriously. South America somewhere. You know what? Some maybe. people immediately went, "Oh, you you know Beyonce was there the same week." I was gonna say maybe Beyonce <laughs> was visiting him and oh, like, just happened. There was no reason him. for that because he was not a threat to her career <laughs> at all. Yeah, okay. And the worst thing is though that I've I'd seen like the week prior to that, oh. or even days prior to that, so many videos coming out on YouTube, um, talking about his um, past relationship and how weird he's become. Uh huh. Like how he's acting weird on on uh, uh, Snapchat, I think it is, or like Insta Live or something. And uh, he, uh, the girlfriend he had, I think he has a child with her, or if it's that, that's another woman. I don't remember. Um, during the pandemic, he became abusive, apparently, and she wrote a book about it, which kind of recently came out, so everyone started making these videos on, like, talking about how weird and strange and awkward and dumb he is, basically, and then a week later, he goes and dies. Like, dude, did you guys just make him jump? (laughs) Did he see all of that and jump? I wonder if they considered that. Yeah. Because I saw, like, ten channels that made videos on that. Uh, yeah. It's weird. It's very weird. I'm scrolling through the uh, a timeline, but it's it's all allegations. There's he's booked on child molestation charges. Yeah, but yeah, um, because they they came forward with their stories. Yeah. Or you're we talking about Michael Jackson still? Yes, yes. Yeah. He is in- eventually indict indicted indicted. Indi- I- indicted on 10 criminal counts including child molestation, abduction, false imprisonment, and extortion. That was in 2003. Okay. No. I don't know. I don't, it's the whole thing you should you should always, you know, believe the victims, but yes, when, obviously. When it comes when they, when it comes to stuff like that, you, you don't want to believe that a person can, can do, do something, something like that, that. Horrible. So, while you like when someone says that, you, you need to take it seriously, but then you need to find like some sort of like rock hard proof of it. Yeah. Um. And also, I would be very suspicious if if the accuser just goes, "Oh, but I I want twenty thousand million dollars," and I'll be quiet. I'm like, then no, then I'm not so sure you actually, because money can't heal those kinds of wounds. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. And I don't think they did that. I don't think anyone asked for that kind of money. No, they didn't. Which me. makes it even more like, oh shit, you actually did something. But in 20, 2005, he was acquitted of all criminal charges. Yeah. Because they couldn't find any like proper evidence, I think, as far as I understand. Yeah. But then again, going back to kind of tie this into the Victor Sala thing, if you're if you're if you're big enough in Hollywood or know people who are you know high up in Hollywood, yeah, maybe there is some sort of you know we we protect our own kind of thing. I mean, yes, we know that that exists, unfortunately. Yeah, but but uh, but then if they're protecting people who've done the worst crime possible. That must mean that they are fine with those crimes being committed. Most likely, <laughs> yes. And then you got to start questioning, like, what are these? Who are these kind of people? That yeah, you know, like, like, like now, 
after I found out this thing about Francis Ford Coppola, that just threw my my like life for admiration for, the, yeah, for him. Yeah, like oh shit. Should I really? Am I? <clears throat> I was about to. Am I allowed to like his movies? But we did say that we should separate the the art from the artist. But maybe we shouldn't praise him as much. Exactly. But then again, like, sure, we can still enjoy your movies. But I don't know if we should give you the attention you get. But then again, then you, then you have to question: What did he know? What he knew was that the kid came forward. And said, yeah. "Oh, Victor Salva did this and this and this." Uh, Victor Salva probably said to, to, to Coppola, Coppola, like, "No, he's lying." Of course, he said at the and, beginning. And then, who who do you believe? Do you believe your friend or do you believe the child? But when there are tapes, <sighs> yeah. But that's also you can't really that's... deny that, especially in the nineties. Like, no one tapered. He wouldn't have tampered without tapes. No, like the, the kid could not have faked it. That's the thing, though, because because I, I guess I guess no one's really questioned Coppola about this. Like, what is his relationship with Salva now? That's or, true. Or what what is his relationship? Ties. What was his relationship like when the tapes were found? When he actually went to prison? Yeah. Or was this just in the beginning where he's like, "Oh, you're trying to ruin this for my friend. I've put money into this movie, you little shit." Which is not a nice thing to do either way. But no. Uh, uh, and please don't. Quote, or you know, misverstå mig rätt. I don't know how to say that in English. Um, um, <laughs> I, and I don't even know what yeah. to say. Like, I can, I can sort of understand his position. Of course you can. <sighs> yes, the but, man has put in. I was about to say hundreds of dollars, but there's way more than hundreds of dollars. It wasn't that much money, but, but, but it was money. Twenty five thousand dollars. That's a lot of money, still. Yeah, it's not nothing. And it's a project, and it's a friend, and obviously the first thing you do as a friend is you go into defense. Like, you're, you're gonna defend your friend the first thing you do, when they are accused of anything, really. Yeah. Um, that's, that's kind of human nature, unfortunately. However, it's how... Because they always say, like, some people always say that, oh, your initial reaction is your purest reaction. But no, that's not true. Your initial reaction is just fight or flight, kind of. Yeah. It's what you do with your reaction and how you handle it after you've had your reaction. It's your actions, not the reaction, that actually speak about like wh- who, what kind of person you are. Yeah. Of course, you can get defensive first, but then if you step back and you reflect on it and you realize, no, I was wrong and I apologize, then that's your true nature. Yeah. So if he... Eventually, maybe uh, backed away and didn't support Victor Salva anymore. I, I'd be okay with it, but I, I don't know if anyone ever dared to ask. Yeah, he he would probably he would probably shut avoid that down. the question. Like, yeah, in yeah, exactly. Yeah, but that okay, okay. Because no matter what he says, it's not going to be a good thing that they bring it up again. No, but let's let's okay, let's end on this because we can we can we can go on for hours about this. I suppose yes. and I don't I don't want to. Um, no. <laughs> um, Okay. Um. So Victor Salva went on to make a bunch of movies, and he kind of became like a cult director with the Jeepers Creepers movies. Sure. The first two are pretty good. The third one is not. The fourth one is horrible. He wasn't involved in the fourth one, though. Not that that matters. Um. Uh, and I I found out about this in 2017 because the, it was his first movie in a long time. So then it kind of came up again. It you know it bubbled up again. Yeah. And I think a lot of people found out about it then. But people who Worked with him, uh, who knew who they must have known because they had a de- definitely a, a closer relationship than just people who watch his movies. Yeah, um, they, they who worked with him or like because you can find a bunch of interviews with him from you know, like 2001 around Jeepers Creepers time. If you're doing an interview about someone, you should you probably need to read up on the person before a little bit at least. Wouldn't you have found out that he was a convicted child molester? And why yes. would you? You're not even like part of the industry. Then you're just someone who makes like interviews for like your little website. Like, why would you do that? Why? 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 It, why is it that his convictions, his crimes, seems to have been 
swept under the rug so so thoroughly. I don't understand. Because he's not big enough to care about. Because he disappeared after 2017. He hasn't done a thing after. No, exactly. But but, but why doesn't why didn't he disappear in in 1990 or when he whenever he came out of prison? What why why did he have why did he get to go on making movies for like 15 years? I don't know. That's 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 the weirdest part. Maybe he was backed by Ford Cop- Francis Ford Coppola then, <sighs> or someone else. But I mean, I I hope that would have um, culminated in better movies then, because <laughs> I'm sorry, but he has nothing good on this. No. Neither as a writer nor a producer or whatever a director. No. Uh, I just uh, I can't speak. Uh, I'm looking up. See if it Fresh- does have an upcoming as a director oh, though. No. The old hag syndrome. <laughs> what? But it has like, it has a storyline. That's it. Okay, so maybe something- there's no actors, it- no. My, was something he was working on, and then people found out, and he was like, "Ah, shit." Possibly. Well, looking at these articles, like official on paper, um, credits. But I'm looking at Francis Ford Coppola as a um, ah shit. What? I was gonna say I could I couldn't find any Victor Salva movies under his producer credits, but no, Coppola was an executive producer on Jeepers Creepers. Oh, oh gosh, yeah. So probably he supported him still. And Jeepers Creepers too. Oh. Yep. And that's how he got kept was allowed to keep doing movies. But why? You know what? Now, ask Francis. Yeah, Ford now Coppola. I kind of I would like to ask him like why? Why? You can't say oh it's my friend, dude. The guy raped children. Uh, that your friendship should be over if yeah. the person is that bad. This whole thing like you can you can forgive a lot because your friend does. I mean you know you know parents to like school shooters who say like you're my son, I love you when no matter what you do. You yeah. Know? Yeah, but this guy. First of all, he's your friend. He's not even your family. And he did even worse things than that. And he's an adult. He's not a, a lost child who doesn't know how to express yourself. He's an actual adult. Uh... Yeah, no, this sucks. This is a terrible episode. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm glad he doesn't do many more movies anymore. I, I, I don't know. I still don't understand how he just got three years and didn't even do three years in, in prison. He must have been very nice <sighs> as a person, which is weird to say, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, yeah, let's, let's, let's end this here. I don't want to do this anymore. This is a bummer. We don't want to this talk about bummer. this anymore. This sucks. Now, 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 I'll never be able to watch a Coppola movie again. God damn it. Not without thinking about it, at least. Victor Salva ruined Coppola. I mean, that's... the. the, the even that's part of his crime at this point. Yeah, definitely. That's a, that's the least of his crimes, but it's still a crime. Y- yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you so much for listening. If you're still here, sorry for bumming. Sorry, sorry for bumming you out. This we're, is- we're gonna stop doing the whole children. Yeah, this is this is why terrible I stuff. Partly didn't want to do the movie, but then yeah. it felt like kind of have to talk about it. To even if even if people already know to kind of spread as much awareness about it as possible, because <coughs> obviously, even though people know about it, the guy still works. So uh, yeah, yeah. I guess we have to keep talking about it to make sure he stops working and maybe goes back to prison. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're gonna say something? No, no, that's it. Okay. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next week with something. But until then, try to have a good one. Bye. Bye.